my holiday and my arms look really flabby. I haven't gone to the gym. This video is a what's in my makeup travel bag and also I'll firstly show off what I bring for my face care. I bought this with me and I bought all my face care in this travel set. I'll just show you and then I'll pull it out. So they gave me like two big one, a spray bottle, a smaller one and a smaller one and three tubs. And so the first thing I have here is okay. First thing I have here is my contacts, my black lenses. They make my eyes look really big, but I was in Korea and I wanted a natural looking one that fits my iris. So um, I bought two. And these ones are just the big one that I usually buy off Facebook for like 10 bucks or something, 11 bucks. I have my Proactive Advanced Blemish Treatment. I did use this, so this helps me with my spot treatment. So if I get acne, I'll put it on and maybe two days later it will go down or go away. It wouldn't go away, but it will go down and then I'll have a scar. I hate that. Sometimes, if I'm lucky, I won't get a scar. Anyways, in my first tub, I have I have my eye bag cream. This eye bag cream is the this one that I bought off iHerb. It's the Viva Labs Botanical Formula Eye Complex Firming Cream. I don't know why, but when I wore it at night time, it'll be okay. But during the day when I apply um, my eye bag cream and then moisturize over it and I go out, my eyes will get really itchy and dry and it starts hurting, especially around here. But I don't know why my dream, my skin was really dry around the top eyelids because I was out in the sun, but maybe it was from the cold, but I'm not sure. So yeah, this one, um, I would only use it at night time. I wouldn't use it during the day when I go out. So in this second tub, I have the third step of my practice kit. And this one is the repair, which is the step three. And um, I'll use this after I finish toning my face. It has a distinct smell to it. So even though this is white and my eye cream is white, I can tell by the smell. And also, I bring with me my uh, Egyptian magic cream, oil, whatever you call it. And I can also tell by the color and the smell. You take a little bit on your fingers and then you rub your fingers together. Even though it's solid, uh, with the heat from your fingers, it will rub into an oil and then I pat it all over my face. And this has helped me with my scars. And I didn't really use this much on my trip towards the end, but I used it in the beginning because I got lazy to use it. And also halfway I had acrylics and it was really annoying to take it out from my acrylics on anyone else. Anyways, and then so I bring with me my deep cleansing wash from Practice. And I'll usually use this at night time. It has um, beads in it. So after I wipe up all the makeup with a makeup wipe, I know that all the makeup is not thoroughly removed so I use this with my Clarisonic Mia and then this helps me scrub off the makeup and after that I'll use step two which is the toner and it has a spray bottle I spray it onto the pad and then pat it all over my face I also bring my contact solution in this bottle I can tell because it's the only clear bottle that I have here I have the step one of the practice set which is the cleans cleanser I think yeah, I'll use this in the morning and also I bring my Cetaphil moisturizer in this little top. I still have a lot left and I use this day and night. So that's what I have in my travel now set. Now moving on to the makeup, I bring my face brushes or extra brushes. I put the rest of my brushes that didn't fit into this into this little um, cotton, whatever this material is, bag. And so some of it I did use and some of it I didn't use. I bought this brush in Hong Kong and I used it and so it's like a buffing brush for foundation. I bring this BYS synthetic brush to put eyeshadow on the edge and then I bring this Revlon brush to blend out the eyeshadow. I also have here my blush brush from CK Carbon Klein. I have a another brush from that I bought off eBay which is Everyday Minerals and I just use this as a powder brush and I bring a spare foundation brush which is from Real Techniques the buffing brush but I never used it because I have all this other foundation brush that I bring now moving on to this box travel thing that I bring to put all my brushes in um, there's two clicks on the side, take it out I bought a few brushes and I think I used all of it I had my tweezers in here but I took them out and I'll show that in my haul I have here my contour brush that I use to apply my bronzers around the cheeks, forehead, nose and also the side of my chores. 
Um, this is an e.l.f. stippling brush that I use when I want to apply light foundation over my face. A concealer brush that I did use towards the end but I didn't at the first. I have here oh, my BYS angled liner brush which I use for my eyebrows and it's a pointed sharp edge. I have here another blending brush uh, from Everyday Minerals which I bought off eBay. I have a flat brush to apply the eyeshadows directly onto the eyelids which is from Australia's. An angled eyeshadow brush to work around the eye corners. Um, in here I have my eyebrow pencil that has the stippling brush on the end and the pencil on the other side. A bullet brush is this what it called to apply a precise uh, shadow. A, another flat top brush that I have in this that I use around my the inner corners of my eyes and also under my eyebrows. I have this brush which is a sharp pointed edge that I use on my eyeliner. So when I apply eyeliner, I apply black eyeshadow over it so it doesn't smudge. I also have here another flat brush for packing on the eyeshadows. A, another foundation brush which I use this a lot because it's really good in buffing into the foundation to my skin. And the last thing I have is this pick that I use to push in the false lashes into to my real eyelashes. Now that I'm done with the brushes, I'll move on to my makeup bag. This is the one I bought from Cotton On Body. When you buy, like say you buy purchases and at the end the lady would like try to add on products. So either it would be like a bag, fox or like this makeup kit in my case. And so I bought this for my travel size. Makeup kit, makeup bag, I mean. Anyways. Um, I brought with me my e.l.f. contouring blush and bronzer powder uh, duo and I used the blush a few times and the bronzer a lot. I really love this bronzer. It's one of my favourite bronzer so it's also an everyday bronzer for me. I also have in here my mascara which is the L'Oreal Volume Millions de Curls one. It's just the gold one and it has a brush tip like this and I really like this one but I'm pretty sure there's other mascara that's good as well but I just bought that I bought my what is this BH Cosmetics Jumbo Concealer Pencil I use this sometimes when I can't be bothered putting um, liquid concealer because it takes too long to pack it in and I was in a rush I bought my liquid liner the magical eyeliner from Dayso I used this a few times and I'm trying to uh, finish using this I also have my Essence Long Lasting Black Eyeliner which I use every day. Elf primer for my eyelids when I use eyeshadows. This is okay but when I apply eyeshadow over it sometimes it becomes chalky and you can feel a bit of the leftover or thickness of it. I don't like that. I also bring my Kill Black pencil gel liner but I didn't use this, the BOB one. I bought this and I bought the other one but then I just noticed this that the pencil was a bit blunt and I didn't want to poke my eyes out with the eyeliner. Uh, I don't know why I have this in here. This is my Club Answer wristband that I really like. That club, that club was really good in Korea. Um, I have a Little Black Beauty Book, the Elf Day Edition eyeshadow palette. Um, I've used this during the day, and I use used it most days. And I also bring my matte eyeshadow from the Balm. It has like neutral mattes and other colours in here. I use this during the day as well. I also bring my Naked Urban Decay, the first edition uh, eyeshadow palette. Uh, it still hasn't been used a lot but I use this um, on special occasions and at night time. And I was trying to look for number two and number three. They sell a lot of fake ones in Thailand so you better be careful. I don't know if they sell this in Sephora in Bangkok but because I didn't go to Sephora in Bangkok I'm not sure if they sell it there but they sell a lot of this on the streets and the malls and you can tell they're fake because I was looking at the texture and also the box and the color they're not the same and I couldn't find that in Hong Kong and I don't know where to look for it in Korea I brought my base primer for my face which is the L'Oreal one that I always use in my videos this one is a good face base I bring my elf shimmering highlighter the liquid version um, that I used when I went clubbing. I didn't want to use it every day. It's too much. I bring this blush from Elf, which is the Mellow Moab one. 
and I didn't use this at all because I'll use the other one so I bring this for no reason but still um, you know it's in case I need it you know I also bought my bourgeois healthy balance face powder that I always use as well this is my lash grip um, eyelash glue and to be honest I'm starting to dislike this eyelash glue because every time I apply this eyelash glue on my false lashes either a thin line or a thick line maybe a thick line it doesn't turn clear and you can tell that they're false lashes because you can see the certain color like either white or a bit grayish color so this glue is starting to irritate me whenever I use it so I'm trying to look for another clear glue I heard that the Revlon one is really good because I was using it but the thing is the glue is really thin and it does work but I'm, I'm scared that the lashes will fall out eventually because the glue is not on like too tight or not enough glue adhesive on it but anyways I bring my healthy mix concealer I used this in Hong Kong a few times but um, I didn't use it in Korea because I so because I started using my Tony Molly concealer so I didn't want to use this anymore I brought with me my Dysa eyebrow kit the eyebrow powder um, what else do I have in here I brought all these lip products that I didn't really use because um, I only used it a few times I used uh, purple cream because my lips were dry and I didn't really use lip products over that but the things that I did bring that I did use sometimes just like a few times but not always was my Essence lip liners I have here the what is it called Set and Mauve I have here the red blush and also the cute pink one I have three lipsticks from Essence as well one's the red carpet this one it's like not bright red but it's a light red a, li <laughs> a light red no a light red and also a flattering nude a nude color and also this one I like which is um, a pink it's a new type of pink that you can wear every day it's called all about cupcake I've used it in my tutorial I bring this jumbo lip gloss stick from elf which is movie star and I didn't use it but I want to bring a red, a red lipstick in case I used it and so the last thing I have in here well I bring my bourgeois foundation that I always use you know the healthy mix one that I use in my tutorial but then um luckily I used it all because I was planning to use it and use it and use it until run out it was a good everyday foundation but I don't think I'll repurchase it because I like to try out new products and the one I bought was this one is the one I bought from Hong Kong and it's called the L'Oreal Paris Latent True Match. Um, I don't know, I'm pretty sure they sell this in Australia but I bought this in Hong Kong and I wore this in Korea when I went clubbing because um, during the day I wear BB cream and at night time I wear this foundation as a, um, so they cover all my imperfections and it did but uh, I don't know why but when I used it, it was, this is in golden beige but my skin is a bit light and when I use it it made my skin look uh, I don't know when the first application it makes the skin look too white but maybe because the toilet mirror the lighting is really bright I don't know about that but afterwards it will sink in and say I'll apply a bronzer a bit of blush highlight and then it will all work perfectly so this is a good foundation as well and that is all I have in my makeup bag besides this which I use to put glass bottles and of makeup in so it doesn't uh, crack on the plane or explode if it did it'll explode in the bag and yeah so that's all I have anyways thanks for watching and if you're interested stick around to watch my vlogs and my whole videos that will be uploaded soon shortly when I could and edit it you know yeah thanks for watching bye guys